My friend's got one of his cell phone Android phones. <laughs> we are number one since wave. Uh, microphone. I point at the ground so the microphone points at the speaker. They can't probably hear the trouble unless they do that. So this ain't flat, the trouble's boosted. This is the safety knife, so you don't accidentally stab someone. Technus amp is out of commission until I take it apart and repair all its solder joints. So in the meantime, I'm going to have to test all my speakers on this thing. And I'm going to give this thing a test to see if it sounds good because I don't remember it sounding good. But that's why I never hooked it up over there. But first things first, got to turn that bass down because I was trying to use this thing as a sub amp for a while. Uh... This thing also has an obnoxiously loud fan. <laughs> my camera can't handle how fucking bright that is. Also, my lens looks a little bit dirty because it looks like it's smearing. Maybe not. Oh, it's got the fake visualizer there. Because visualizers totally uh, have colors randomly placed all over them. It's basically more like a VU meter that makes it look like a whole uh, what, what the, a spectrum analyzer thing, spectrum display. So. I got my PSP hooked up. It's just cranking out and leasing the right channel. Flex, yeah. Flex, flex, yeah. Flex, 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 yeah. Damn, flex, flex, I'm worth a crime. Ain't no end to come around. Yeah, I hear a little bit of a hiss in here. Okay, I guess it gets up loud. Who knows? I might use this thing as a mid high amp. Hey, don't these old fuckers get loud? Yeah. This fucking Jensen thing, it can. Uh, he was holding his ears and I cranked that fucker up. Yeah, oh, I got your trouble damage right here. Damn nigga, what you doors, doors, get some on the move. What the fuck I need some doors for? Although it does need a bit more trouble. I'm getting in the escalator. You know how to find me. Shooters in the escalator. Sap, I guess ain't as bad and I use it for mids and eyes. The LEDs are going out over here. Bet you that's a bad solder joint. Nothing from Pyle ever works right. No, I don't. Fuck you, camera. Be consistent, camera. Oh, now it's not doing it. I don't know if the camera can see this, but the screen's actually flickering rapidly. I think it can't handle the fan inside it running. Oh, this thing's not going to last me. This thing has been used for a couple of months, and this thing is uh, surprisingly acting beat up. Oh, hey, there's a gain for sub out. Would you look at that? Now, I'm a little bit worried my video might make you think, oh, hey, your pie lamp ain't that bad. I want to go out and buy one. If you think that, keep this in mind. I've used this amp not too heavily. I used it for my Alpine for a while. It's supposed to be 2 ohm stable. 
and I had it on two ohms, which is good. But these videos I've been using B, channel B, a channel I've almost never used. This is what it sounds like in channel A, the channel I've actually used. Both speakers are hooked up, by the way. Getting the same amount of power. It's just on channel A and now say B. This is a tweeter. This amp is all fucked up in channel A. Channel A isn't even usable. Okay, um... And there's channel B. See, it's fine. So if you want to get in this thing, just keep in mind you're buying an unreliable piece of shit and it's a gamble. It might come in the mail broken. If you want to go for it, go for it, but that's just your warning. Also, this amp might be fucked up because I ran it at dual 2 ohm, but it said on the box and in the manual that it was stable at it. So I assumed it was safe. But never assume anything with pile, especially when they give you a number. This thing's probably 600 watts at its best, and I doubt it puts out that. <laughs> 